So what, uh, how do the activities differ, are diff how are they different at the different levels? Um, well, the older you get, the more independent you are. You rely less on troop leaders, and it becomes more the girls run the activities as opposed to the parents. Mm -hmm. And also, you can earn more prestigious awards, like the Silver Award, which I have okay. here, which I earned in 2014. And um, yeah, basically, you're just a lot more independent. You do a whole, whole lot more leadership things as you get older. All right, and so just asking about your silver award, did you have to do a specific project to get that? Uh, yes, we did. Um, me and two other members of my troop, we started a program called Supplies to Kids, and we ran it through the Mission of Deeds, and mm -hmm. um, we did drives at the Joshua Eaton School and on our front porch steps, and we collected school supplies, because okay. school supplies is very, very expensive at the beginning of the year, and sure. not a lot of families can afford to buy all that school supplies. So we held a drive to get school supplies. We held several drives. And at the end of the year, we collected all the school supplies, and um, we put it into kits at the Mission of Deeds, and they distributed it to their customers and because okay. they were in need of school supplies. Sure. Now the other thing I notice is that you're wearing you have your different different numbers on your uniforms. They stand for what? What do they stand for? The troop number. Okay. So how many troops are there? Do you know how many troops there are in Reading? We have over forty troops in Reading. Over forty. Kindergarten all the way through seniors in high school. Okay. Over forty troops in Reading. Wow, that's a lot. Four hundred girls. Wow. So over four hundred girls in Reading are involved in Girl Scouts this year. That's fantastic. So if I had a daughter and I wanted to get them into Girl Scouts, what would I do? Uh, you can <laughs> contact Michelle. Um, there'll probably be a booth maybe in June at the field. At day. Friends and Family Day. Friends and Family yeah. Day. We um, we also have um, Sing a website, ReadingGirlScouts.org, okay. oh, yeah. and we yes. also <laughs> yeah. we have the Girl Scout website, ReadingGirlScouts.org, and then we also invite everybody to June twelfth. Okay. Right here in Reading, we have Camp Rice Moody, which is mm -hmm. a Girl Scout camp. Okay. And we invite everybody there for a sing along on June twelfth from oh. three to five along with activities. Okay. Um, so it sounds like there's a lot going on with Girl Scouts here in Reading. There is, absolutely. Yes. We'll see you at the parade next. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, yeah, Memorial Day Parade. So absolutely. You, 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 the the Memorial Day Parade. To honor those. Okay, so if I had to ask you, if you had, could give one reason why someone should join Girl Scouts, what would you say? Well, it's a great experience to like be with your friends and to work on leadership skills and do many different activities you probably wouldn't get to do if you didn't do Girl Scouts. All right, very good. I'm just going to ask you one question. What's the funnest thing you've done in Girl Scouts? Sell cookies. Sell cookies. <laughs> well, that's certainly my favorite part. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank the Red and Girl Scouts for being here today and representing the organization and all the 400 girls and the, what did you say, 40 different troops? Yeah. 400 girls and 40 different troops that are in Reading. Thank you for being here today with organization.